while we have the opportunity to take our students and study abroad, they can really get an understanding of how the global marketplace works and how cultural influences and differences help us understand. This real world experience that we get by traveling abroad really brings to life everything that you're learning in the classroom. It's a lot different than just hearing about a destination. Instead of studying other people's reactions, you get to see that and you get to see those works of art for yourself. You get to actually experience them. You really take a step back from what American culture looks like. Just getting that actual first-hand experience. It opens a person's eyes to the rest of the world. We all grow up in different places and different surroundings. It's a way to interact with different cultures. Traveling all around the world and seeing so many different places really shows you that there's so much more to this world than our everyday lives. Just being there and being able to take it all in. And I get to experience it like someone who's from that city. It's gonna be so eye-opening to see all of this hands-on and experience it so much. Study abroad really completes a student's education. You're gonna learn so, so much more about yourself and so much more about the world. And you can really experience different cultures. Every trip is just gonna be something new and exciting. And everybody's gonna take their own personal lessons and morals from it. It's just an incredible part of their education that just really prepares them to compete in the world. When we got to our hotel, everything was so different. We dropped our bags off, we got settled into the hotel for a little bit. The walk to the actual Lake Como was kind of a hike from our hotel, but definitely paid off. I remember going down to the lake and just having my breath taken away. We could walk past all those docks, past all the boats, and see the city from the water's point of view. It was just unbelievable. We were at the foothills of the Alps. Seeing huge mountains. All the houses that were built up on those mountains. Coming down to water. In the distance, you saw the snow on the top of the Alps. It was very surreal. Later on in the day, we took the train and we ended up at the side of a mountain. Going up was definitely a unique experience. We kept passing all this nature, going through tunnels. We get to the top and it's a breathtaking view. It was really amazing to see an aerial view of the lake, which was even more amazing than being down below. To the left, we can kind of see the city where we were just standing, and in the middle, you just saw the Lake Como, and you can see the different cities surrounding the lake. You could see the Alps in the background of the mountain landscape. It was beautiful. It was really great to see. There were so many people taking pictures, roaming around, enjoying it, going on dates people from all over the world. Kids on tours from other European countries enjoying the same thing that we were enjoying. That was, I think, something that we could connect with everybody there because they were there for the same reasons that we were. We saw all the locals that live in that part of town that experience it every single day. It was just such a different lifestyle and seeing all these people just speaking fluently in Italian. It seems like it's such a big deal to us, but really it's just them living their lives. And then we actually took a whole study abroad trip over there just to experience the things that they live with every day. All the views and the water and just the Italian culture and it was just, I really felt like we were immersed in their everyday life. So the next day we got on a boat and we took a boat ride all around the lake, through the lake to end up at Bellagio. The boat ride to Bellagio was pretty long, but it definitely paid off. Being able to see all the beautiful architecture and the different styles of houses that were on Lake Como. We got to see so many viewpoints along the coast of the river. It was so green. So we passed George Clooney's villa. We passed the house where John Legend's music video took place. Right on the coast of Lake Como. After we saw all that, we ended up in Bellagio. I could just see it along the horizon, and it was just incredible. The way Ramo described the city was kind of like an Italian getaway for Italian locals. And I could just not wait to get onto that island. Jumping straight into this beautiful, sweet little town of Bellagio was absolutely phenomenal. Because once you stepped on the island, it was an instant feeling of relaxation. We walked down this path along the side of the lake and again around us, the foothills. We went down to a park and stood along the side and it was just a vast view of the lake with the Alps in the background and it was incredible. Being able to see snow on top of the 
Alps that were around Lake Como. It was so relaxing, so soothing. Around you, everything's so quiet and everything is so calm. Life was slower, everybody was kind, and you could just sit out on the water and relax. We walked down these cobblestone streets. We strolled through the shops and these restaurants kind of tucked away in these corners. Got gelato and just really sat and embraced everything. There's just so much character in all the buildings and all the streets. There was also a garden that was in Bellagio, which is one of my favorites. And the great thing about this garden, it was very beautiful. It was right on the water. And being able to walk through and, and see all the different flowers and there's always something new to experience. You could see all the boats that were passing by, and you can see all around you all the trees and the Alps. And as we were going through this garden, it was just me and some of my friends just walking through, experiencing it all together. It almost felt like every other day that I spend with them. And then I realized that we're in Italy. This isn't like every other day because we get to see something way more. It's kind of cool to like look back because we can all be like, oh, remember that time in Bellagio and we can all just reminisce together and it's really fun to do. I felt like I was actually submerged in the Italian culture at that moment. It was just such an Italian experience. And that was one of the most eye-opening parts of being in Bellagio. It was setting in that we were in Italy now. And then we got on another boat to go all the way back to Lake Como and it was incredible. The next city that we went to was Lake Lugano. When we arrived at Lake Lugano, it was very interesting because we were in Switzerland, but it had a lot of Italian influences. The trees and the, the plants and the streets still look Italian, but it was in Switzerland. There were a bunch of Swiss flags everywhere. People still spoke Italian, but we had moved more into the French language. One of the best memories I had was talking to a street painter. We had an entire conversation in French. It was just incredible just putting those skills of mine into the real world and that one small conversation really made the trip and enhanced it for me so much. I just remember seeing looked like people our age college students like laying out in the grass enjoying their time sitting on benches and that was nice because it was quiet and it was secluded and I, I felt like I actually belonged there. It didn't feel like a tourist attraction it felt like a local attraction. We then moved to Salzburg, which is where we learned a lot about the history of Mozart. Being in love with history and in music all in the same thing, I was very nervous that I wasn't going to be able to see everything or take everything that I had learned and that I wanted to see away from that short amount of time that we had. When we finished our tour, we ended up at a statue of Mozart, and in front of the statue was a grand piano that anybody could play at. I got the chance to sit down and play where he lived and thrived and created his career and that was a really incredible experience to me. I was so excited to go to Salzburg. Growing up, my whole entire family really, really loved the sound of music. Growing up, watching that movie and singing the songs over and over again, being able to be there, it actually just it made my whole day. A great experience because that's a part of so many of our childhoods. Being able to be in the garden and walk the streets and the pathways and See the front gate to the house and see the house itself is really, really cool. I really loved that day because it was like my childhood was coming to life and it was so awesome to see.